But when we do, it's really neat to be able to take take advantage of that. And I can see my wife and kids sometimes and say hi in person. Over. That's an astronaut. That is ISS. That's an astronaut on ISS. I'm picking up on the radio with my uh, base antenna on the outside of my house. Well, uh, at least two, typically. Uh, as American astronauts, we're trained in Russian. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I'm up here with uh, Koichi Wakata, a Japanese astronaut who's actually flown in space five times. This is his fifth mission, and he speaks a lot of languages. His wife is German. He speaks Japanese, of course, and he speaks Russian and English and probably a couple that I don't even know about. Over. Hi, Anna. Well, we can pretty much bring anything that's uh, safe and not really big and heavy. So I brought my favorite baseball hat, some of my favorite t-shirts, and of course some Twizzlers to make it through the mission. Over. I guess the school is contacting uh, ISS. I'm not going to well, interfere. We've got three robotic arms on the space station. Uh, there's one off of the Japanese module. There's one uh, off the Russian segment. And then we have the actual Canada arm here on the front of the space station. And that one is the one that we use for grabbing cargo vehicles. Uh, right now we're using it uh, because it's got a camera on it and we're driving it over to a spot where we, that we need to investigate uh, a system that we're having a little bit of an issue with. Uh, but just uh, two weeks ago, I was on the end of the Canada arm and my friend uh, Koichi was flying me around and putting me in position so that we could install a new solar array. That's an amazing robotic arm. Over. Is what happened? Get a oh. new cargo vehicle about every month and a half or so. Uh, maybe two months, and so we can get things uh, that are sent up to us sometimes. My family can get some, uh, some licorice if I need it, uh, but uh, only every couple months do we get uh, cargo vehicles. Over. I caught these guys, I caught this astronaut just by scanning with my antenna and my radio. I was doing, I'm doing FT8 on 12 meters. I'm getting them. Question. Well, I'll tell you what, everything up here takes about three times as long as it does on the ground. And that doesn't matter. That makes no difference if you're trying to eat a meal, uh, use the restroom, or get uh, a project done. Everything floats away, and just everything is a lot more difficult. Over. I think just being a part of this whole thing. This is a TYT TH-9800, nothing special. Well, this is my first mission. Uh, I was assigned to a previous spacecraft that uh, we haven't launched yet, and so they switched me over to 
a new spacecraft so I could get up here and finally do my job. Over. Well, Keeper, we haven't assigned those people just yet, but uh, certainly anybody in our office is eligible, and uh, everyone is really excited about that uh, next project. Over. We can look out that window and get a good look at it. In fact, uh, when we have a uh, new crew launching to come up to the space station, uh, we tend to hang out in there and see if we can see them because we tend to launch right as the space station goes overhead. Over. VHF propagation is uh, pretty good. Well, it's decent. Just amazing. So that was the International Space Station. International Space Station. I don't know the the name of uh, that astronaut. He did put the call out for the space station. I'm just sitting in the shack playing uh, playing radio FT8. I got my uh, President Lincoln two on twenty eight four four. I have the the nine nine one A. I was just doing digital on. Um, well, that's the calling frequency for voice, but I was just doing digital um, FT8 with it. And I was making contact on 12 meters uh, with Kilo Charlie 5 Roger Roger with the FTDX 10. And boom, all of a sudden I hear, uh, you know, the International Space Station come on because I had this thing on scan. All I had it, I just had it like, like. Well, it's on lock now, but I had it on scan, so that just goes to show you. Leave it on uh, leave it on that frequency. You might hear them one day. This is KD2, G-I-Y, on the air, 7-3. Thanks for watching.